Dear friends, followers of SFK and CNN TV, once again, thank you so much for uh, following our channel. Uh, this time, this moment, allow me to present to you this very important uh, lecture uh, with the title saying, have you ever known it? Did you know it that uh, just one fruit can heal you? Hypertension, you know, failure, excessive uric acid, obesity, and the digestive tract. Five cases can be solved by just one type of fruit. Guess what? Which type of fruit can do this? Well, uh, in this world, there's a lot of types of fruits, but not all of them can solve the problem the same way. So today, I want to talk about uh, the fruit called pear. French called quad. Pear is uh, a fruit which is in the family of apples. Pear are noted for the content of sugars containing 12.7%, while they are lacking in protein meaning they are not rich in protein, they have only 0.39% and fat 0.4%. The most abundant of these uh, sugars is fructose or levirose, which makes them well tolerated by diabetics, meaning this type of fruit is well tolerated by diabetics because as you know uh, diabetes meritus very sensitive to sugars so this type of fruit is friendly to diabetes the same way apple do pears contain small amount of vitamin C E and B the most important of the minerals they contain are potassium, magnesium, and iron. They are also a good source of trace elements such as copper and manganese, and in the lower portion. Lower proportion, zinc. The pears, vitamin and minerals content is slightly greater than that of apples. So meaning when you compare apples and pears, terms of vitamin minerals, uh, apple, uh, pear is greater than apples. That is very important. The pear is also a good source of vegetable fiber, 2.4%. Amount that is slightly less than the apple because apple has 2.7%. In contrast, apple, the pear contains a greater amount of insoluble vi uh, fiber rich in the lining, the material that makes wood and wheat run hard. So, uh, you may ask, uh, what are really the composition of 100 portion of pear in terms of all types of nutrients. Let's give you a, a short view of it. 100 grams of sample of uh, pear contain 59 calories. 59 calories. And uh, 
39 gram of protein and 12.7 gram of carbohydrates 2.4 uh, gram of fiber 2.0 microgram of vitamin A 0. Zero point zero twenty uh, five milligram of vitamin B one zero point zero forty milligram of vitamin B two zero point uh, zero zero point hundred milligram of niacin zero point zero eighteen milligram vitamin B six seven point thirty microgram for it uh, vitamin B twelve is not present in there vitamin C have four point zero milligram vitamin C uh, we have zero point five zero zero milligram vitamin Eleven point zero milligram of calcium, eleven point zero milligram of phosphorus, six point zero milligram of magnesium, iron zero point one fifty milligram, potassium is one hundred. Zinc is 0 0.120 mg. Uh, total fat is 0 0.400 g. Saturated fats is like not there because 0 0.022 g of total fat. Cholesterol is, is, is non applicable and sodium is non applicable. So those are the compounds found in pear fruit. Then this uh, fruit has soluble fiber is more effective against cholesterol while the insoluble is more effective laxative. In terms of no nutritive components, the pear contains a lower proportion of organic acids than the apple and a greater proportion of tannins. These are report, responsible for the absorbent and anti-inflammatory effect of pears. So meaning pear can fight inflammation more than apples. Pears is also diuretic, mineralizing and mild astringent and refreshing. These are its primary medical indications. So here are the medical indications of pear. Number one, hypertension. Pear's capacity to lower blood pressure has been known since antiquity. This is attributed to its diuretic effects. Today it's known as well uh, that the pear contains no sodium. The fact that it doesn't have sodium in uh, its uh, compounds, it gives it uh, an advantage of fighting hypertension because sodium is uh, a supporter to water retention which aggravate hypertension. So a pair cannot favorite that kind of issue because it is uh, absent, uh, it doesn't contain sodium at all. This mineral, sodium, uh, that tends to retain water within the body, thus increasing blood pressure. Additionally, the pear is very rich in potassium, a mineral with the opposite effects of sodium. 
there are studies demonstrating that the higher the potassium intake, the lower the risk of hypertension. Now, studies, new studies are constantly uh, appearing that uh, relate that to hypertension of apparently unknown causes. So, they uh, also can help to uh, manage renal failure or kidney failure. The pair stimulates renal function as it is highly recommended fruits in the case of renal failure due to arthritis or fluorosis. In addition to containing no sodium and being very low in the proteins, the pear uh, is good source of potassium and uh, produces a mild diuretic effects of all of which benefits renal sodas. Abundant pear uh, consumption is recommended in the cases of cardiac as well as renal edema uh, fluid retention. So those people with uh, repetitive edema can benefit uh, by consuming abundant uh, pear to help uh, manage those issues of edema. Number three, excess uric acid. Pear consumption promotes the elimination of uric acid and uh, other nitrogenic substances through urine. Remember that uh, uric acid is responsible for gout, a very pain-causing disease in many people, especially men and the menopausal women, because women who are still uh, in the menstruating period, uh, it's very rare for them to have gout. But uh, menopause women are also uh, candidates to develop this kind of disease, gout. It has, this um, has an localizing effect on the blood, which is of benefits in detoxifying diet used to neutralize excess acid residues produced by higher meat diet. So when people eat a lot of meat in their food, those are uh, candidates to develop gout. So these fruits, for those people who eat a lot, a lot of meat, advise to eat more of this kind of fruits so that they may clear uh, the waste of uric acid from their body using this type of fruits. Uh, Obesity. So meaning this type of fruits can help also fighting obesity. The pear should be included in the weight loss that because of its diuretic action and its depressive effects. Digestive disorders may this type of fruit can help also to manage digestive disorders, especially the uh, stomach problems and intestine function. When it is ripe and uh, tender, the pears is digested rapidly and easily. There is evidence that uh, shows that within 90 minutes of eating, it has been digested and has arrived in the large intestine. So many it is very quick digested. It has a mild astringent action and works against uh, the intestinal uh, Faction and fractures. So those with 
a lot of gases in intestine. This fruit is very important because it is quickly digested and eliminate gases, uh, accumulating uh, or, or occurring in the case of colitis, inflammation of the large intestine and intestinal dyspepsia, digestion at the intestinal level. So, this prayer helps intestine to work more properly. So, how is this pair can be prepared. Number one, it can be used raw. It is important to chew pears, well, particularly those that are hard, this type of pears which are very hard. So they must be chewed uh, properly uh, and uh, grafty textured. They should generally be period because of potential external contamination. You know, most of the time we teach you that it's much better to clean the fruits, even to soak them in a water containing charcoal so that you may remove contaminants which are present outside. Well, even peeling is advisable to increase more safety to what you are going to put inside your body okay however in the case of pear the pill is of dietary value because of its diuretic value of course they must be well washed and if possible organically grown so pears have so many types those pears with the rough skin, you can peel them. But those with the smooth skin, you just wash them and uh, make sure that all cleanliness are followed. Then you eat it with the skin. Okay? Pear can be cooked in one way or the other. So, and can make jams of pear. But what we encourage you is to eat it raw. It's much better. That is the position of SF Cinema TV in terms of advising you how to use the fruit pear. Thank you so much. This is SF Cinema TV. We love you. Dear friends, uh, after explaining the benefits, the health benefits of uh, prayer, I think it could be much better to explain also the same fruits of the same family. It's called apple. Apple fruit. As I have said, apple and pear, they are in the same family, but they have some a little bit difference. Apple uh, is called the pom in French. In the Spanish is manzana. Each year, the world produces more than 40 million metric tons of apples in fourth place after grapes, oranges, and bananas. Although not the most widely cultivated fruits, apple is considered the queen of fruits. Why? You, you yourself you may guess because apple is popular in the whole world. There is no single country you can step in and they do not find apple being used. So that's why it is uh, having that uh, uh, rank of being queen of fruits. This may be in view of the fact that in addition to its enormous culinary and the medicinal virtues, it combines with the particularly all both uh, or other foods. 
Uh, apple, it can be used in many uh, different ways. In, uh, you can make a juice from apple, you can make uh, uh, salad, you can bake it, you can cook it. So apple can be used in many ways. So what are the properties of apples? Uh, aside from the 12.6% of carbohydrates in the, in the form of sugars, no other nutrients stand out in the apple's uh, composition. Sugars are primary fructose, for sugar, also called the virus, and uh, lower proportions of glucose and saccharose contains very small amount of proteins fats and among the vitamins are vitamin C vitamin E and minerals include potassium and iron although in limited amounts together its nutrients pro, uh, provide uh, 50, 59 calories per 100 grams so, you may ask, what are the compounds contained in apple? So, before we go in detail, let's look at this. In short, apple can provide energy by how, uh, providing for, uh, 59 kilocalories uh, per 100 grams of sample. Same protein provide 0 0.190 grams per 100 grams. So, not repeating 100 grams, uh, you assume that whatever you are going to say as uh, numbers refers to 100 grams of portion uh, tested. So, fiber uh, 2.70 grams. Vitamin A, 5.00 microgram. And B1, 0 0.017 milligram. B2, 0 0.014 milligram. Niacin, 0 0.110 milligram. B6, 0 0.048 milligram. For it, 2.80 microgram. Then B12, not non applicable. Vitamin C, uh, 5.70 milligram. Vitamin E, 0 0.320 milligram. Calcium, 7.00 milligram. Phosphorus, 7.00 milligram. Magnesium, 5.00 milligram. Iron, 0. 180 milligram uh, potassium 115 milligram zinc 0 0.040 milligram total fat 0 0.360 milligram uh, saturated fats uh, is 0 0.058 milligram Cholesterol is non applicable, sodium is 1.50 mg. So you see how apple is very different from pear. Remember, pear has non applicable sodium content. But apple, we have found that it has 1.8 mg. Meaning, when uh, you need to make a choice in terms of avoiding sodium pear can be much better than apple that is one thing you should think about uh, other compound in detail of uh, containing the apple fruit pectin this hydrocarbon is not absorbed in the intestine and forms most of what is called 
soluble vegetable fiber. Most of the 2.4 gram per 100 gram of sample of fiber in the apple spectin. Only one fifth of the fruits pectin is in the peel. So this is a very important issue. When we tell you that you should peel apple when necessary, do not over peel because you need to preserve or to 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 keep uh, pectin intact without removing it. You just peel a little bit that hard skin, but not affecting the pectin, which is the fiber very important. Therefore, when it is removed, only a small portion is roast. Pectin contains water and uh, various waste products in the intestine, acting as intestinal broom that facilitate the elimination of toxins with the feces. Number two, organic acids. Apple contain, besides having pectin, a very important fiber, it has also organic acids. This represent 1% to 1.5% of the apple's weight, depending on the variety. Remember that apples have so many varieties. Green, red, yellow, mixture of colors. So you can find even uh, yellow mixed with the red, green mixed with the, some yellow. So they have different varieties. The most uh, prevalent is malic acid, although citric uh, sarcinic, lactic and uh, salicylic acid are also present. As happens with the citrus fruits, when these org organic acids are metabolized, they produce an organizing uh, effect and acid effects in the blood and tissues meaning apple and other type of fruits whether they contain they may contain acid in the natural state but when they ditch in the metabolism they change the status from being acidic but provide alkalinizing effects in the body meaning there is no fruit which can produce acid acidity in the body of a human that's uh, the fact and the such done these acids are also the new intestinal flora and prevent intestinal fermentation so these acids are very important beside that uh, apples contain tannins apples is after the quince that is another type of fruit one of the fruits richest in tannins which are astringent and anti-inflammatory flavonoids these constitute a group of phytochemicals present in many plant-based foods that are capable of preventing the oxidation of low density lipoprotein substances that carry cholesterol in the blood in this way flavonoids keep cholesterol from depositing on the arterial walls and stop the progression of atherosclerosis and hardening and narrowing 
of the arteries. Meaning, when you eat apple regularly, you protect your arteries from being hard and narrowed. Results is prevention of heart disease and cardiovascular diseases. The same way uh, Paya do that. Apples contain variety of flavonoids, most active and important of which is uh, concerning because of its antioxidant effects. <laughs> Apples together with onions are the richest plant-based food in uh, quantity. So this very important uh, quantity is found in apples and onions. That's why when you want more uh, antioxidants from fruits, you may eat apples on one time and other time you eat onions. No onions has also other nutrients as we will say it in our next uh, future uh, presentations. Say that apple contain another very important nutrient is called boron. What is boron? What is the role of it? It helps bones and joints. This little known mineral plays a, a, a variety of roles with, within the body that are currently uh, being studied. One of these seems to be facilitating the assimilation of calcium and magnesium. Boron facilitates the assimilation of calcium and magnesium. That's how bone helps bones. Meaning that boron may contribute in the prevention of osteoporosis. Apples are among the fruits rich, richest in boron. Beside the cucumbers, which have a lot of bone as well. So, friends, whenever we tell you uh, these secrets, you have to write them somewhere so that when in need, you consult what you have written or you review, you rewatch our videos so you get this secret and you put them in the practice. These substances particularly explain many medicinal properties of this simple but exceptional fruit. Antidiuretic, antidiuretic, laxative, diuretic, depurant, hydro, hyporepidemic, reduces blood lipid levels, choreletic, nerve tonic, or chariza, that is uh, reduce acidity in the body and antioxidants. All those values contain the apple. Because of this eating them daily benefits both those who are healthy and the ill particularly in these cases. The area and the colitis. The pectin in apples act as sponge that absorbs and eliminates the toxins produced by the bacteria that cause gas uh, gastroenteritis and colitis also it's turning dry the intestinal mucosa and reduce its inflammation the organic acids as antiseptics and restore the normal bacterial flow in the intestines. Friends, you see how very important is the fruit called apple. We have told you the secret uh, loaded into the pear, but also now you have seen 
what apple has. Apple can be used, uh, can be prepared, uh, eaten raw by peeling it, and uh, sometimes it is recommended uh, to avoid uh, eating any uh, pest pesticide residue. Apple can be baked, apple can be cooked, apple can be juiced, or uh, the, the things, the method or approaches can be applied in preparing apple. So, uh, apple can help to reduce some or oh, to, 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 to uh, can help the body to heal itself by giving a hand of support. A diet based exclusively on apples is effective in any type of diarrhea. When digestive organs are affected, apples are best pre uh, pre prepared as apple sauce baked or cooked, as you have said. Constipation. Apples regulate intestinal uh, functions and uh, correct both the area and constipation. Eating one or two apples on uh, an empty stomach in the morning helps overcome intestinal uh, hypotony, which is the most common cause of constipation. Chronic skin eczema. My friends, have eczema. Please try eating apples daily caused by auto intoxication due to constipation. So, if the body uh, intoxicates due to constipation, eating apple on a daily basis can be helpful. Hypertension studies con conducted in Japan. Uh, where the normal diet contains a great deal of salt have shown that those who regularly eat apples have lower blood pressure than the rest of the population. Apples contain uh, virtually no sodium and are um, quite rich in potassium which contribute to the uh, hypertensive effect. It has a little bit sodium, not a lot. Excess cholesterol. Eating two or, or three apples a day for several months has been shown effective in reducing cholesterol level. Partial explanation for this effect is that the pectin absorbs the biliary salts in the intestine. Biliary salts intestine are absorbed by pectin, one of the basic ingredients from which the body makes cholesterol. Atherosclerosis, because of the riches of flavonoids, particularly quercetin, apples help prevent the deposit of cholesterol within the arteries and the subsequent narrowing. Prevenance also inhabit platelets, uh, stickiness, the tendency of the platelets in the blood to form thrombosis or clots, meaning apple can prevent blood clots. Eating apples regularly prevent narrowing of the coronary arteries, which leads to heart attack. Uh, Choreathiasis, gold stones, Choreasis, Choreasis, Choreathiasis, gold stones, studies conducted at the University of Toulouse, France, with the laboratory animals show that apples have a correlative 
effect increases bile production in the liver which decongests the liver it also reduces the lithogenic index of the bile which measures the tendency to form biliary calcul or a gallbladder stones it is reasonable then to recommend apples to patients who are high risk at high risk of cholestasis particularly women between 40 and 50 years old with more than two children or those who have undergone surgery apples make the bile more fluid and prevent the formation of gallstones although they have no effects on those that are already formed meaning apple can be used in prevention of gallstones but when they are already formed another treatment should be applied diabetes diabetic toilet apples very well for two reasons a significant amount of the sugar is fructose which does not require insulin to enter the cells second pectin act to degrade the release of sugars around them into the blood stream slowly and progressively colon cancer studies in japan using laboratory animals show that apple pectin is capable of preventing the growth of cancerous tumors of the colon that's the red intestine this preventive action provides study support for recommending abundant apple consumption to patients at high risk of colon cancer as well as for those that have been diagnosed and or treated to avoid its relapse so uh there is uh one thing you should consider is that there is indications for treatment using apples some indications in summary a treatment with apples is done by eating 2 kilos of apples a day for 3 to 5 consecutive days water may be drunk apples may be eaten raw as a prose baked or cooked but without additional sweeteners this treatment may be repeated several times a year This uh, approach can be used on the following cases: gastrointestinal and colitis related diarrhea. Apple fiber pectin is great absorbent that cleanses the intestine. It also restores the uh, physiological bacteria flora acting in combination with the organic acid also found in the apples. Uh, second river disease apples they congest the hepatic gland uh, thanks to the cholerectic uh, and the pyrant effects they are highly recommended in the case of chronic hepatitis fatty degeneration uh, of the river due to the consumption of alcoholic beverages cirrhosis number 3 hypertension apples facilitate the elimination of the sodium ions that cause the arteries to contract increase in blood volume and fluid retention in the tissues they also replace the sodium ions with those of potassium which normalizes blood pressure 
and improve cardiac function. Chronic eczema caused by auto intoxication. Apples absorb intestinal toxins, thus facilitating the purification of the blood and the skin. Apples also help relieve constipation and promote purification of the liver. Those whose uh, liver, whose congestion results in many skin disorders. So here uh, we mentioned that most skin diseases are involving the liver function. So to treat skin diseases, clean the liver. High cholesterol and uh, atherosclerosis. Apples reduce blood cholesterol level and uh, prevent atherosclerosis. Uh, excess uric acid, which causes uh, uh, gout. Napo treatment occurs the, the blood and facilitates the elimination of uric acid through the urine. Rastry colon cancer. Apples help avoid the cancerous degeneration of the colon. So friends, you have seen pears, now we, we have presented you apples. Meaning, these two fruits are very, very important. If you want to be healthy, consider these two fruits and keep eating them. Alternatively, if you are not sick, in, in case you are sick, so you should apply the way they are used for the treatment of specific cases. Thank you so much. This is SLK TV. We love you.